Hungerford. This is Hungerford. That seemed very, very energetic. Hungerford. Hungerford was recommended to us by a fellow picking colleague. Um, it's next to Marlborough. It's pretty much it's pretty much in Reading, if I'm honest. So if anyone's it around, it was long, the, wasn't it? it the yeah. drive. If anyone's around the Reading area, they should make a little like sidebar to these little towns. But anyway, that's a counterfeit uh, Senator McCartney bag. Moving on. Um, <laughs> there's only two shops here. I'm not going to lie to you. And man, do they know their stuff. Look at this, uh, APC uh, forty five pounds. Forty five buckaroonies. They uh they said it's new tags, but it was a um my Teresa tag. Um so it wasn't actually the garment tag. Um it would have had an additional APC, APC tag, tag on yeah. it. So the APC tag had been removed, but the my Teresa so technically you could sell it new as tags, even though Austin's like dropped on the floor multiple times. Mm. Um so you know, storage Simples. wear, storage wear. Storage wear. I didn't even see that. What's that? It's a long, long, long uh, wax uh, kind of coat. I wouldn't say jacket, it's not a jacket, it's a coat. Yeah. Um, but along it's, it's like, ladies. Um, but it was forty five pounds. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. That would have that would have retailed over to like I don't know one hundred and fifty to two hundred yeah. at least. By the way, the APC would have uh, would sell for about. I would push it to. I would push it to about seventy five. Yeah. Um. And, but once again, like it, I guess it's just the costings. But once again, it's one of those things that it was a standout piece. It was a very nice piece. It was a good color actually. Um, there was something a little bit different for I APC. Have, I would have picked it up, no problem. I would have been whipping at the hills for that one. Um, it, 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 do I think it would sell fast? Probably not. Do I think it would be a great addition to the shop? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but not for forty five pounds. That's what I'm saying. Uh, there's a small person in a pink boiler suit, uh, uh, multicolored Crocs, and she's uh, just purchased a David Walliams book. Has she not? She wants to be Princess Peach. Um, and yes, yeah, she's obsessed with David Wally and we're collecting them all. Only hardbacks, though, because she is bougie. <laughs> and we've been told hardbacks only. Hardbacks only. Good good way to uh, deal with your life. Mm -hmm. If anyone wants to sell us a bundle of all the ones we haven't got, then crack on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was officially a bed. No, I'm joking. Uh, the second shop is over a little bridge, which I thought was fun. It was. At least. At least it was fun getting into the shop. Um... That's where the fun swiftly ended. Yeah. No, these shops are well put together. They they fully understand what they're selling. And they've got good stock. Um, I, I, all I can say is either even the people in the chat shops are filthy rich or they know how to use Google. Yeah. Um, this is a Finisterre uh, T-shirt. It is indeed. Uh, we've sold a f quite a few items from this brand. Uh, definitely a brand to, uh, to look out for. Um, I'll put a, a, I'll put one of the logos up on the screen because I don't know how long I hold it to cl kind of close to the screen for you to have a look. Um, but once again, it's kind of an outdoorsy brand, is it not? It's an outdoor brand, yeah. Yeah. It's more premium than your Rohan or anything like that. Um, and it can cross over into like more fashion based items. I think every anything we've had in, we've sold pretty quite quickly. Oh, really quickly. I would have expected about thirty five back for that a t shirt. But you know how when it's like your first buy of the day and you're yeah. just like, oh. You've got to you you kind of uh, break the seal, in. if you will. This is a Velvet Queen shirt. It's pink. It's linen. It's linen. It's actually really nice. Um, I guess uh, most people will know this by now as a brand. Um, they make uh, kind of high end, very high end, almost well luxury for sure. Swim shorts, uh, swimsuits, swimwear, beachwear, bathers, bath bathers, bathers. As your, as your nan would say, cozies go uh, go. Anyway, um, this was twenty quid. Uh, it was worth every penny if you're looking for yourself. Um, from our point of view, twenty pound on um that shirt it's still probably some great profit in there. Yeah. Oh, the other thing it's which just was that shirt. I know it's just that I shirt. I don't want to pay twenty pound. No, I agree. But also the the other good thing about that was double XL. Yeah. It was two XL, which once again on a shirt like that is is a massive benefit because people do wear them I oversized. Found one thing they missed. So this is by, by Melanie Berger. Burger. Burger. Six pounds. It's like a mini tulip skirt, uh, jazzy pattern. Um, it's it's not very really this brand, if that makes sense. Um, uh, and just reference and toast toast. And toast toast. Um, however, there was once again there would be profit in it, but it's not going to be a fast sell for that brand for that item. It, does that make sense? It does. This was this. I just found this funny. This is exact. This is the exact same top. One was a small. One was an extra small. One was six pounds. One was five pounds. For no apparent reason. Which one was less, like the extra small? Because the, the extra small was big, more. It was more? Yeah, six See, pounds. I would have thought the extra small would be less because there's less fabric. Get it? Mm. One pound less fabric. I'm not buying what you're saying, lady. Or and do you know what? I didn't buy it. Or we a twin mm -hmm. and then we could dress the same. Or you and me could dress the same. I'll take the small. The day I can... F 
Okay, the day I can fit into it, anything with small, it, it, whether it be extra small or otherwise, is going to be a uh, a long way down the line, lady. I thought it'd be like muscle bearing. <laughs> yeah, it won't be muscle bearing. How about that? <laughs> do you require muscles for it to be muscle bearing? You do indeed. Yeah. Uh, therefore, there'll be no bearing. Uh, darn it. Anyway, so that was our hunger for experience. Do we think it is worth the travel? For us, it's a, it's a good two-hour drive. Um, so, no. However, if you're local to the area, cracker. I think it'd be really good. If you could get in yeah. more often than we, we there. We also did it because we were doing uh, Marlborough as well, though. So, like, if, if it's a standalone town, like, 1,000% no. Um, but once again, if, if you can kind of... I suppose, once again, if you can catch it right, yeah. or you're visiting another town, as you just said, it is also, what it is. So this shop in Marlborough uh, was recommended by our picking colleague, uh, who said that they had a really expensive rail, and it was interesting, so we thought we would show you it. This is uh, Lagerfeld. This is all the Lagerfeld shirt, and I believe there's, there's a couple of pieces from uh, Lagerfeld. Carl Lagerfeld. Kiel, uh, known to his friends. Who? Oh, was known to his friends. Kiel, Carl Lagerfeld. What are you saying? Kiel, his initials, you donut. Kiel? No, Kiel. Oh, Kiel? It's not Kiel, is it? This is another one. £12 pound for the, the denim this, 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 this is quite. Uh, this is quite relevant at the moment on the basis we're on the, the eve eve of uh, the Met Gala. In uh, Carl's uh, name, really, wasn't it? Yeah, a line of beauty to celebrate the new collection of the Met. Anyway, so these are some new lemon shorts. Uh, missing the inner tag, as always, because they're long and gangly. However, I found the little reflective logo on the back there. I actually um, picked these Do you know I call that logo? The money. The money. £4 should be 35 quickly and easily. This is La Perla. This is £4 bargain. La Perla is famous for making really high-end underwear, uh, undergarments. Oh, that was Paul Smith. That was really nice. Undergarments and uh, and clothing. This was sort of like a corseted jersey cotton top with like a silk panelling to give the illusion of a corset. If you want kind of more on that, go and check uh, our last cool. video, which was the haul. And we kind of we go into more detail yeah, with that. Yeah, good idea. We've also listed that one for a hundred four pound into a hundred easily good money. Um, I didn't know what. I was easily saying. good money. Yeah, I said oh, just getting a bit muddled. It's, a bit it's late. late. It's late, and it's gonna get crazy. What's this? This I thought it was rib cop. Is um Isabel de Pedro Spanish brand? I believe I'll probably be corrected on that one. I find it quite sticky to sell, and at sixty pounds, I definitely find it sticky to sell. Yeah, but agreed. it is a good brand if you can pick it up cheap enough. Yeah, that's sensational. That's exceptional. Is that Dolce & Cabana? Yeah. <laughs> How did you know that? Because it says D. I wish it was on Is that a G? Is that yeah. a G? Oh, so it's Dolce & Cabana. Yeah. I spotted this and it is absolutely beautiful. How cute was the interlude though? I saw it out of the corner of my eye and it is stunning. A giant Dolce and Gabbana belt. Oh. I'm gonna try and find the exact comp oh. for the exact belt here because it'll, oh. it'll be it'll be it would have been like so expensive. It was 150 pounds, I want to say. Yeah, 150 yeah. in the shop. This shop had a whole kind of rail, which we're going to go through now, which was a kind of uber high end. If I was looking for belts and I was looking for something like that for the store, then I wouldn't have. 150 doesn't put me off. No, not at all. But you know when you're at charity shopping and that's not what you're looking for, and you're like, oh, do I need to spend 150 on a belt? Like it gets complicated. This is Balmain, and it's so nice. Also, this is very new, guys. New label. Like this is new label. This is well, newer label. This is new buttons. Like this piece would have been like thousands. Yeah, you definitely you're definitely doubling or tripling your money with that. But once Minimum. again, you it's the outlay, and this rail was jam packed. The choice that you had of pieces, some weren't as good as others in terms of like just style. Like this is just a plain. Uh, purple velvet skirt from this Dolce. was banging though this is 250 for a gucci full leather pleated skirt if you can embellished find, also though yeah if you can find reference to the skirt uh which i'm trying to do actually just for this for the base of this video then um and you can reference it and you can sell it off the back of that then you you, you can you would be able yes. to double triple but once again these aren't these aren't quick sales. These aren't like no. There's not someone sitting there waiting for a pleated Gucci leather skirt. You no, know? and I, I have to say that like this is more kind of collect the things. This isn't just to get buy it for the sake of buying it, um. Because once again, as you say, they're not the brand new last weeks or anything like that. So you'd have to be a collector to be interested. 
But once again, when you do sell it, you'll sell it for great money. But like you say, if you, if you there's more the input. It's the hundred and you know, hundred and twenty, two hundred, two hundred and fifty. To have it sat there as a reseller, just sat there in stuff not moving, yeah. or maybe six months, two months, a month, whatever it might be. I think it's a large amount of money to have there. This was reasonable though. If you have a customer or you have a that customer base, um That's I, different. I have to say if we still have the store Mm. Oh, I would I would have bought most of this stuff I'll yeah. be honest and I actually think even even the people we deal with now um like I kind of outside outside of the inverted commas resell reselling community we still have a lot of those customers but to be honest you've got to get the right person at the right time with the right piece these are belts from a p company called Nanny Nanny with an I they're really expensive they go for anything up to two hundred pounds uh, they're actually a hundred and something in the cabinet hundred fifty each that's what their belts are pretty much a uh, uh, one fifty across the board. They were they were mostly Western style belts as well from Nanny. Just to let you know, but keep an eye out for that Nanny N A N N I. Um. Also, there was a brand there of a uh, snakeskin skirt. Just it's not snakeskin, but snakeskin print skirt. Yeah. Amelia Wickstead, great brand, great brand to look out for if you can get at the right price. Um, I saw some black trousers for like two hundred really quick the other day. So like really good brand to be on the lookout for. I was in the prom dress section. Ask oh. no questions. I oh. shall tell no lies. And I spotted I spotted a lid first of all, which was a La Crusier. Was it? How was it? Le Creuset? Le Creuset. I can't be bothered. Anywho, uh, the, the pan wasn't the matching pan, so, but I, I put that to one side because what was underneath my dear was a full OG brown set. Brown, right. Brown is so underrated. I'm saying it right here and right now. This is a size E, um, so it's a 42 litre uh, Dutch oven <laughs> round pot. I was going to say, I'm going to take you to Brown Town. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you've got a neutral kitchen... Oh, look at me. I'm so cute. Um, I think if you've got a neutral kitchen, brown is a vibe. I'm just saying. So I found the rag and bone top for £6.50, full silk, featured in the hall. I also found an Acne Studios uh, Grecian-style green dress, which is draped uh, to uh, the... Look at it. Early, uh, early acne label. Yeah, um, for a Look tenner. at the back, though. That's listed for 200 The Rag and Bones listed for 160 And look at this. And then I found this for a tenner, uh, reduced from 40 to a tenner. This is a Miss Only uh, full silk knit draped dress. But it's actually the, it's actually the classic Miss Only kind of wave, yeah. uh, kind of weave, if you want, as well. It's just the fact that it's only one colour as opposed to um, the kind of multicolour you usually see. So it's so interesting when you go from one shop to another had equally as good brands and e different price points it's so funny because when we saw in charity shops obviously you're looking for a bargain you're hmm. in a charity shop right uh, by the way we paid 10 pound for the la Crusade and list of 80 i only realized earlier when i was editing the video that everything in the shop is 10 pound or under so if you see anything cool in the shop yeah uh, yeah it's cheap and uh, what i'm saying is it you when you go out charity shopping you're looking for a bargain that's instinctively what you're doing of course um, although we do pay up for things and we do find things that we do pay up for um, when we're sourcing for heavier price tag items, I prefer to source personally, uh, specifically. Um, am I just buying that item because it's in front of me in a charity shop? Yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. What I'm saying is if I said to you, right, today you have a budget of £250, for for example, compared to that Gucci yeah, leather, yeah. Leather, leather dress or uh, skirt, and I promise you'd find something better with a better margin 100%. online to buy retail arbitrage styly. Yeah. These are some belts. Vintage uh, Givenchy on the left. And some uh, Ferragamo, I believe. No, it was... Uh, what was um, it? Zenga. Zenga, Zenga sorry. Uh, Amelia Zenga. On the right-hand side, these kind of chromio um, belts on the right. £80 a piece on the um, Givenchy. And I actually think they're really rocking cool. Givenchy isn't having a moment at the moment. And it hasn't had a moment for a while. Since like 2000, I reckon 2010, 2012. It hasn't had it. It's not... No. It's not mm, if they were Gucci, it wouldn't even thought about it. Yeah, Are I you agree. Using two hands to get up the stairs. Yes. Were you like propelling yourself Big up the time. stairs? Yeah. I would like next time a full frontal view of you doing that. It would be impossible. You'd have to wear a camera. This is a James. These are a. These are a pair of James Purse shorts. And if anyone asking, I've got yeah, I have got a seat in my hand. We also bought a bike seat. Um, I asked no questions, and we. That's it. Um, but <laughs> that's a, a pair of James Purse a relaxed, like, lounge shorts. James Purse is a hugely expensive brand that is incredibly underrated and underpriced on eBay. Shorts are, like, 350 Retail? Yeah. 
Yeah. Like lounge shorts. I'm not talking about like fancy shorts. I'm talking about lounge shorts. Like those ones we just saw. I've paid five pounds and I've listed them for 80 buckaroonies. The other thing about those shorts, just thinking about it as well, is they're very, they're very kind of, I said this on the haul. Once again, all, the, all those items you see in clothing items wise are in the haul from yesterday, I think. Um, and once again, they are, they're, um, they're really expensive items, yeah. specifically those uh the, those shorts. Anyway, this is a mint velvet coat for twenty five pounds. Puzzles. I this one was sorting out puzzles, right? If anyone wants to know, I've got a thing about Wentworth puzzles. Now, there's two things about Wentworth puzzles. Firstly, Wentworth puzzles sell for a huge amount of money. Can we talk about these first? Oh, she's so cute. These are Sergio Sergio, Sergio? Rossi, um, laced. Um, leather laced heels uh, paid £10 these are actually not last season the season before they also made a, a booty in the same elm cool. uh, retail is about uh, retail can be anything upwards of £300 to like a grand depending on what oh no they can, yeah, they, can for, they can go for over a thousand for sure um, these were nestled amongst some other sort of like mother of the bride shoes so I've listed those for I'm not going on a limit old lady shoes yeah okay they were 160 great brand to look out for Sergio Rossi I see we'll put the logo on the screen so that you can see what I'm saying out loud in my voice. I might even throw a couple of comps up. Yeah. But if I haven't, I forgot. So bear with me. Um, Going back to work with puzzles, not only do they resell extremely well. They're wooden, aren't they? Do you say they're wooden? They're wooden. They have like fun pieces in them. There's no like straight sides or something like that. Do you know what? I don't even care. I, I don't like doing puzzles. Just to Yes, clarify. you do. No, but I'm not like... You're I'm a no, puzzler. Don't make out that I sit there with like a puzzle roll. I don't. <laughs> the <laughs> fact you know what a puzzle roll is, yeah. and most people I listening to this be, won't know what a puzzle roll I is. I used to be deep in the game. Um, but <laughs> I love doing Wentworth puzzles. Yes, you do. I love them. I've been keeping a in stack because we're going um, on an adventure at the end of the month and I'm taking all my puzzles with me and I'm going to do them all at once. I'm going to do them all at once. Talk to me about these trousers. What are they? They're pants. There's, are they Seasol? You're showing me some comps from the Rosie. The Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. These are Seasol um, linen trousers. They're a good size. They're really what wide they? leg. 12 quid. I like to sell Seasol trousers very consistently for between 27 and 35 and like they've got to be under 10 for a good quality yeah you know, I will pay you know up I mean? to 10 for corduroy I know that sounds really like nitpicky but I, that's just that's, that's the way we work and what we do with our business really yeah I like to pay lower lower amounts for smaller margin uh, lower amounts for uh, items that don't have a great so say something's £35 I don't want to pay under £10 for it the other thing is like you might say oh it's only £2 well like okay it's £2 now so then another pair we see which is 40 oh only, only £2 more well, than those yeah. and then it keeps going and eventually you're paying like 20 quid for something you're getting 34 and that is not happening anyway that's our video for this evening we got another haul coming tomorrow for hard goods and accessories with possibly two pairs of luxury sunglasses oh way to entice them in Oz <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Bye.